Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I wanted to film a little fall lookbook for you. So I've invested in some new fall pieces, and then I had to get some new jeans, and I have a couple pairs of jeans, a couple pairs of shoes, and then some different shirts, and I've kind of put them in like fall outfits for you, or what fall would be for us around here. Like right now, it's still in the like 70s, and I mean, it gets up to 80, but then it can be as low as 60s, and then it gets probably down to the 40s to freezing at night. And so we're still, you know, we're in that wet weather where it's cool in the mornings, but hot in the afternoons. And that'll last probably at least another few weeks and then we'll get into the more steady like 60s and 70s temperature and could see some snow. So I kind of have a variety of outfits for the you know fall season for us around here. I just wanted to put together a little lookbook for you so I have American Eagle, Old Navy, and Target to share with you and I hope you enjoy. So for the first outfit I just threw on some Wild Fable size 12 jeans and I have on my multi pumpkin shirt that I got from Etsy. I showed this in my Vlogaweenie episode two. And then these are shoes are just a new day from Target forever ago. And they are open toed. If you don't want open toed shoes, then don't wear them. <laughs> just kidding. If you don't want open toed shoes, then go for like a, you know, a ballet flat or something. And then this is just in a new day sweater size small from Target. And I also thought that, you know, the warmer weather and you wanted to keep this on all day, you could button it up and maybe just wear a cami under it and then just wear it like a regular sweater. Or you can unbutton it and then just wear it more as a cardi. And I like the sleeves in this. They're nice and long. It has pockets and it's longer but not long long and so this is kind of a really nice length for me i don't like the super long ones so i thought this outfit would be good if it's going to be cooler in the morning but then warm up towards the afternoon so then you can always take off your sweater you know and just have it and then you'll just have on your t-shirt and be cool so here's a close-up of the t-shirt and then here is the close-up of the like corally pink sweater color um these jeans a regular length for me and so with my 36 inch inseam they're not actually cropped jeans they're just cropped on me because I have long legs and so I really like this outfit this is kind of probably a go-to fall outfit for me I did tie this in a little knot sweaters and cardies are gonna be kind of my thing for this fall and here's the first one so for the second outfit I put on these universal threads paper bag pants and mine are in a size six I did try on a size four and it was really tight here and then really tight in the calves, which here wasn't too bad because they do have a little bit of like a stretch to them, but down in the calves was just super annoying. So I did end up keeping the size six and I still, I mean, this paper bag is very stretchy, which is with most paper bags. So it's a little odd sizing on these, but I definitely say size down a lot or buy a couple sizes just to see. And I like to pull mine up pretty high rise that's just more comfortable for me and so they do have the two buttons in the zipper and then I just threw on one of the universal threads blue long sleeve tees and they had this in white and like a brown color and just a bunch of other colors I thought the blue and the green like the green gray kind of looked fun together and then I threw on my new universal threads little tennies I've been looking for a pair of tennies like this forever, just the flat ones, and that kind of fit my feet, that didn't make them look huge, that had, they went up high enough or low enough to look good with kind of the crop pants, or just any jeans, and so these are the tan color, and then I also just threw on my little white fleece headband, so I just thought that added kind of to the sporty look. These sleeves are long enough, but I keep trying to like pull them up, because I don't know, it just feels like one of those shirts. I need to pull up my sleeves, and so this can be changed up, t-shirt, put on some sandals, you know, or if you wanna wear it with your flip flop. This is what it looks like untucked, which still isn't too bad. I mean, I like to kind of show off my paper bag. Also, it is slightly cropped. My belly button is here, so, but I like the crop style on me. It always hits me in a nice spot where it doesn't emphasize things on my body. So outfit number two. Outfit number three. I threw on the same little tennis shoes, but now I have on those loft 
They're like the Lou and Gray Signature Soft Blend Shorts. I did try the pants in these and they fit. I feel like they're not designed for a curvy body. Like if they're very straight, I even, you know, I went up to a size large and they still just were like super kind of like slim fitting on me and then like made my top look a lot bigger. So I took those back, but they're still just as soft as these shorts. And I love these shorts. I love this camel color. I'm so glad this came back in stock and I was ordered able to pick it up. So I'm just in love with this color for fall and I'm super excited. So then I just have on one of those airy oversized boyfriend tees. This is somewhat of a baseball tee and then it just says grow with the flow. I just thought it was a fun little saying and then I threw on my airy size medium little sweater and I really like this sweater just like the Target one because I could easily button it up wear a little cami and you just wear it as a sweater also. So it's like I can do a Cardi R sweater with it. it. Has a little slits in the side. So I just thought this was a super fun outfit for the fall because right now it's pretty warm and I still wanna wear shorts, but like leaving the house in the morning, it's a little cool. So and then in the afternoon, I can just take off my sweater and I'm ready for the <laughs> summer leg fall, right? So outfit number three. So here is outfit number four. And these are some American Eagle 12 long curvy stretch mom jeans. And then they have a little distressing in the knee and they're kind of a lighter wash. So with the lighter wash, I just thought these black hiking books looked awesome. I found these on TJ Maxx and they're Timberlands. And you can either like, you can either just pull them on. They have laces like that. Or did they come, they also came with regular laces. That's what's on the side. And they are comfy and cozy and they don't have like a super big heel. They're super light. So I just thought these were something fun I could wear for fall. And then into winter, I always see people wearing fun like Doc Martens and I know those aren't for me, but these are. So I'm super happy with this. It kind of brings out the black in my flannel and my flannel is kind of a burgundy and an orange. And this is from Old Navy. It is, I think it's their oversized tunic um, flannels and I did get mine in a size medium tall. So then my sleeves are long enough. And if I were to button it up, it has pretty good coverage. If you probably went up another size, it would have even better coverage for to wear with leggings. But when I do um, button this up, it doesn't pull. If it's just a regular classic flannel, I have to get a, a large tall and then that doesn't pull. So I always go up a size if it's not oversized for their button up shirts. And then this is just a little pemplum um, spaghetti strap tank that they had. And I got this on clearance. You could wear any shirt under this, obviously. But I was just like, when I got this shirt, it was just so fun and flowy. And I just thought it would look super cute under a flannel. This would totally be my pumpkin patch outfit, my pumpkin picking outfit, especially if the day was pretty mild so I didn't have to wear a coat. And then you got your shoes on to hike around and everything like that. I picked my pumpkins at Walmart this year because my family doesn't like to go to the pumpkin patch with me anymore. And so here is outfit number four. And this is very similar to the second outfit. But I just had to show you these, just the camo color of these paper bag pants, like the gray green ones. Like this is fall for me, this whole outfit, like the blushy purple color, the camo, like those are just my colors right now for fall and I'm just loving them with you know pops of green and orange. And so I'm just loving these pants. I wasn't sure about the leopard print little Skechers ballet flats, but I'm really liking it even though I have stripes on. I think a pair of booties, those other tennis shoes I have would be, you think, this color is definitely more versatile than maybe you think it would be. And I just love it with this top. This is an Old Navy like plush top. I got it in a medium tall. Um, it's pretty loose on me. I probably could have got away with a small tall, but I just wanted it looser and everything. Old Navy, I run small, medium, large, just depending on the shirt. Typically, I've been buying medium because it's not going to be too small and it's not going to be too big. I usually, it just hits me right where I want it. So this is... The flannel shirt was probably my first favorite, and then this is my, my other first favorite. So these two are my favorite outfits. So this is outfit number five. So here's the sixth and final outfit. I am wearing American Eagle jeans in the snoff, 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 soft knit mom jeans. And they've had this snoff, good gosh, soft knit 
fabric in their jeggings for a while and I've bought that before so it's super super stretchy so I did try these in a 10 and they were almost they almost fit they were just a little more tight in the waist and so like you get the pinching when you bend over so I did size up to a 12 in these the light colored ones now the 10 fit perfect and that's what I've noticed even in their jeggings that usually the lighter one was a little bigger and then the darker one I would usually size up and so they just have some knee distressing but they're just so soft I just love these these are one of the first this knit is the first type of jean I bought from American Eagle and they call it like their next level stretch so it is just super stretchy and they do fall down a little but I'm a tugger of jeans just because I've always had to tug up my jeans so I think I pull them up even though they're not falling down so there is that if you're looking for that you probably <laughs> don't know how to help you there but I love the dark, dark wash but that it's kind of more of a medium wash it does have a little distressing on the back of the ankle and then I just threw on some brown slouchy booties I don't have any heels on my booties because I don't like heels hard for me to walk in so I prefer everything flat and more rounded toe the pointy toes tends to squeeze my foot so there's that and then this is just a universal thread just a pullover sweater I did size up to a large I have one very similar to this in a burgundy and that I bought more fitted and so I wanted this one to be a little looser a little larger um, it's just like a pullover sweater I think it I don't think it's cropped necessarily I think it hits where all pullover sweaters hit but I just thought it looked super cute with the little front tuck on it um, you could totally tuck it all the way in but I'm not quite ready to fully tuck in a sweater yet but this is just that has pink yellow orange purple in there so it's just like all the shades that I'm loving right now and I think are so excellent for fall I think this would look really great with those camo colored or cognac colored um, paper bag pants I had on too and so I'm just excited to wear this for when the weather finally cools down I think this is also like a good New Year's sweater I don't know why I'm always drawn to these colors on New Year's but I kind of am so sixth and final outfit well I hope you enjoyed my fall lookbook and my simple and casual outfits for the mom, the mom on the go, the working mom, the casual mom, the comfy mom, the mom who just gets dressed up to run errands. So, that's me. I enjoyed putting together these outfits for you and picking out shoes and kind of like coordinating the different things rather than just ordering clothes and trying it on. This was a little fun for me. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration. If you have any questions about where anything is from, let me know. I've bought it all recently. Yeah, except for some of the shoes. So we had American Eagle, Airy, The Loft, um, Old Navy, and Target. And then little TJ Maxx for the shoes. But those are Timberlands, so you could probably find them anywhere. Um, those are a little bit out of my comfort zone but I've been wanting to try some for so long that I think I am going to keep them and not return them so hopefully I'll get some fun use out of them this summer this summer hopefully I'll get some fun use out of them this fall it's fall I'm ready for the cooler weather I'm ready for the cooler temps hit that like button subscribe and I will see you in the next one